Hello, fellow history buffs. Welcome to Unexpected History. I'm Hunter, and you're watching a new installment of This Week in History, covering the 16th through the 22nd of October. Believe it or not, there's only 10 weeks left in 2022. October 16th marks the 229th anniversary of the execution by guillotine of Marie Antoinette. Infamous Chicago gangster Al Capone was convicted of tax evasion 91 years ago on October 17, 1931. He was sentenced to 11 years, served approximately eight and a half, and was paroled in 1939. He never did regain control of his criminal empire, largely due to his mental incapacitation from gonorrhea and syphilis. He left prison with the mental acuity of a 12-year-old. Complications from a stroke claimed his life in 1947. Just three years ago, on October 18, 2019, astronauts Jessica Meir and Christina Koch performed the first all-female spacewalk in history when they exited the International Space Station to replace a power controller. The spacewalk itself lasted 7 hours and 17 minutes. Founding Father John Jay was sworn in as the first Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court on October 19, 1789, 233 years ago. He served on the nation's highest court for not quite eight years. He retired to his farm in New York after declining a second term as Chief Justice, although not from politics. After the Supreme Court, he was elected the second governor of the state of New York and served six years, afterwards again declining a second term. He passed away on the 17th of May, 1829, from complications of what is presumed to be a stroke suffered three days earlier. October 20th is the 45th anniversary of the plane crash that claimed the lives of three members of the band Leonard Skinnerd, along with the pilot, co-pilot, and the band's assistant road manager. Twenty other occupants of the Convair CV-240, including the rest of the band, suffered serious injuries but survived. 225 years ago, on October 21, 1797, the USS Constitution was launched in Boston Harbor. The 44-gun, three-masted, wooden-hulled heavy frigate was retired from active service in 1881 and now serves as a museum ship primarily moored in Boston. She is still a fully commissioned ship in the United States Navy and is also the world's oldest ship still afloat. On October 22, 1383, 639 years ago, Portugal's King Fernando died without a male heir, ending the House of Burgundy's dynasty and sparking a two-year civil war that eventually saw King John I take the throne, beginning a new dynasty and ensuring Portugal's continued independence. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and take the time to follow or subscribe to Unexpected History on TikTok or YouTube, respectively. I cannot overstate just how much those two things help the channel out. The channel can also be found on Rumble and Odyssey, in case you'd rather go through those platforms. If you're willing and able to help support what I do without hurting yourself, please click on the link tree in my bio or the video description for the many and varied ways you can help out. Until the next time, I hope your day is pleasantly unexpected.